You want to just do our quick, uh, you know, sub to the channel? You could do your mar- marhaba, Habibis. All right. Marhaba, Habibis. Uh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just do it again. Sorry. No, you're good. Marhaba, Habibis. What? What? You weren't going to say a sl- uh, Man, fuck it. You want me to say, yeah, say uh, assalamu alaikum? Yeah, or you just like we did the very first episode. That's, that's the way I did it. Yeah, you did ha- marhaba habibis, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, okay, okay. Assalamu oh. alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and marhaba habibis. Wa alaikum assalam habibis. Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. So I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just cut this in. Um, let's see. Fuck me. Uh, what is it? It's like to uh, catch the full to episode. Catch, to yeah, catch yeah, yeah. Okay. the full episode. Right, sorry. God damn it. Doing this in front of a guest for the very first time. This is, this is my MO right here. Though. This is what I do every single time. I always find a way to fuck it up. So, it's to catch the full. Oh, God damn it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. To catch the full episode, subscribe to us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the Bros. Links below. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Then you want to play the intro? And the last thing, the last thing we need is the end of all thinking that in the meantime, everything's fine. Take off your mask and forget it. It still matters. Number of unaccompanied children? I think this issue requires us taking a step back as human beings um, and as mothers, of which I am one. I know that there are many in the room or many at home. Miss Cinema. Miss Cinema. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on, Habibis? I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we're the Habibi Bros. Welcome to another episode of Habibi. Uh, power hour premium. <laughs> uh, really enjoying that background there, Jay. <laughs> it's an honor of our special guest. Yeah, I feel like we should just bring him in right now. Without further ado, Habibis, I bring introduce to you Stephen Miller. Uh, Stephen L. Miller. Uh, the L is because he's <laughs> obviously converted to Islam and he's Arab now. <laughs> so, how you doing, Steve? Welcome. Why can't I hear you? Hold on one second. Unmute your mic. Hey, I, I had to unmute because I was screaming obscenities at your intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to fucking doing Kennedy, guys. Come on. Well, I mean, I, we just want to bring you on to something a little bit less professional. I was, I was, gonna, I was gonna come on and like my hand shackled in a in a blindfold. I, I mean. <laughs> Just to whatever you guys I mean, you're a very, you're a very gracious guest, and I know actually, th- that would have been probably the um, would have made you feel at home. It, yes, oh, it would have, yeah. um, and that would have made me feel better inside. Um, but I will say this, uh, Steve, you actually attracted the attention of basically an entire country, <laughs> an ally, <laughs> an ally in the Middle East, our biggest ally in the Middle East, not named yeah. Israel. And that is Saudi Arabia. When you tweeted out on February 26th, Joe Biden is clearly a puppet of MBS, a.k.a. Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince. And the kingdom has been likely cultivating him for decades. What does Saudi Arabia have on him? Special counsel now. Hashtag resist. And you basically attracted the attention of basically everyone from Saudi Twitter. Um Let's let there we there go. go. There, there they are. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look how they spell Biden is B I D O N. Biden. <laughs> Biden. That's Durka, how they Durka. pronounce it over there, too. Joe Biden. Yo, Yosef Biden. Can I be canceled for going like Team America Arab? Uh, like going in, Durka Durka. <laughs> Durka. <laughs> going down Bakalaka Daka Street. <laughs> going yeah, to Bakalaka Daka. 
Yeah, so I want to say this, uh, Stephen. How does it feel to be both Muslim and uh, have a fatwa issued on you? Yeah, I mean, I thought about cutting my own head off after that just based on my Twitter <laughs> mentions for about for about a day. There, were, I've I've run into a few groups where they just turn your mentions into a garbage fire, and one has been like the loyal following of Bahama bin Salman in Saudi Arabia and then the other Taylor Swift. And I'd still only consider Taylor Swift, the real terrorist. Out of <laughs> <laughs> I, I would still, I would still rather have you guys behind the wheel of an airplane than Taylor Swift. So. <laughs> I mean, we do know how to fly. It's kind of, it's great. you just don't know how to land. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, we do. It's just in the 12th, 12th floor of the building. <laughs> Aim for the middle. <laughs> Aim for the bushes. <laughs> I mean, Bush did nine eleven. We know all. We all. Know Aim that, for the but. bushes. That's really good. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's it. <laughs> uh, um, so, you know, in light of that, I mean, we talk about, we joke about this stuff all the time, but this is a, like a legitimate. I mean, I'm not. I'm not joking. Taylor Swift is a legitimate terrorist who I don't want <laughs> anywhere near. Uh, her and her followers that's absolutely all right true. Uh, all right we'll get off on this tangent yes taylor swift's followers and are, are they are i want to say diet bajancy are they not or are they basically beyond the bajancy they're beyond they're all beyond agency the other i mean the other ones are obviously the beyonce's beyonce's fans have tapered off a lot. rihanna used to have a pretty strong following i kicked i kicked the rihanna hive and that lasted like four days Really, so, and then all of a sudden, Britney Spears' fans have found a resurgence. Um, uh, yeah. But she, they do find a way to kick the Britney Spears hive. Oh yeah, because I mean that's the thing. You couldn't say anything bad about her. God, what did I say? I, I said something like uh, Britney Spears makes Casey Anthony look like Mother of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Not trolling if it's true, um, oh my God. and so that one was a couple of years ago. And that one went on for about a week and a half. Like that one almost drove me into the darkness of Twitter. Did you? Yeah, and the thing is, you tweeted that out uh, before the New York Times documentary on her came out. So, so yeah, that was a couple of years ago, and so now the documentary comes out, and now it's one of these moments where it's like. Britney Spears is having the rejuvenation because give her her kids back, give her her kids back. And it's like, no, you, asshole, you caused this. It's like, it's like, you know, the, the paparazzi hounding Princess Diana for years and years and years before the royal family decides to off her in a tunnel in France. So, um, <laughs> wait, you, you think they offed her in the tunnel? Um, she was in the car with a Muslim. What do you think, Farage? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say. I mean, like, you tell I had, me. I had I no. Well, first of all, I had no idea the royal family converted to Islam. Well, uh, they, one of them tried, and we saw what happened. Right? They don't. They don't like. Uh, they don't like Muslims in the royal palace. Which one tried? They don't like Muslims yeah, that, in, a, in a traffic tunnel in Paris either. Apparently, no. Oh, no, who, no, no. Who, who tried converting? What? Princess Diana. She, she was in. She was in the car with with oh, Ahmed, uh, Ahmed. No, 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 no. Uh, I know uh, that. But like, it's like the most popular like British assassination on a Muslim in history, and you <laughs> know nothing about this. All right, for a second, he, I thought he, look, he's got it. He's got brainwashed to just make you think about it, that I it's know. about white it, a white person. Yeah. Well, imagine how powerful that would be if Princess Diana before. Uh, she died. She took Shahada, and she basically ascended to the seventh seventh heaven with with you know all <laughs> the happened? all of all the prophets of yeah. God. That's why she didn't get a state burial. That's why she's buried on a fucking island. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that would make sense. I mean, the the royal family, which is the head of the Anglican Church, they um yeah. If that secret got out, that would uh that would cancel her. Quite a bit, but that would make the next season of The Crown far more interesting, I will say. I mean, it would make a season of The Crown interesting. That's for sure. I haven't yeah, even, your I wife make you even watch The Crown, Farage? What's that? Does your wife make you watch The Crown? Yeah, she does. But so, you, know, you know what you I, have to I, do now? You know what you have to do? Just like casually next episode, just drop. 
you know these people had Diana killed, right? <laughs> so you know, you know these people killed Diana because she was in the car with a Muslim, right? That, that I mean, I know he was a Muslim, but you know what? Nineteen ninety-seven. There's a lot of things that they don't tell you about. You know, the the royal family. And there's it's very difficult to say what's true to when you watch The Crown. You're like, how much of this is actually dramatized versus what actually have, happened? Have they, done, have they done Harry's real father yet on The Crown? Oh, fuck. I don't think they have. The Dirty Ginger? I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. But that would make sense. They should call it that. Ep the episode should be called The Dirty Ginger. The, dirty ginger. <laughs> the, dirty, the red headed Stepchild. Literally, yeah. the red-headed Stepchild. My God. How many, con how many conspiracies can we throw out for the people that <laughs> Media Matters here? <laughs> But, 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 yeah, and then they'll all have to subscribe behind the paywall. So please, everyone at Media Matters, <laughs> if you want to catch the whole episode. That's, that's kind of the joke I make with my podcast. My podcast is behind a paywall, and it's yeah. kind of, and people ask me, what happens if you say something like a boy is a boy and a girl has a penis? And I'm like, I think it'd be hilarious if Media Matters is paying to listen to my podcast looking yeah. for shit. Yeah, like to, <laughs> to, 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 to shit on you and, and basically – Tweet out clips like "Thank you for the promotion." Yeah, I had one. I had one stubber who did that. He he gained the nickname Shitlib, um, and it was and it was an affable nickname. Like he he generally like I read questions for my subbers on my podcast and everything, mm. and uh, so he I called him the resident Shitlib, and it was lovable and everything like that. And then he like unsubbed and then went and blabbed on Twitter to his thirty eight followers, which I don't care. I don't care about Twitter count followers, whatever. Like to like Jonah Goldberg about whatever, like, oh, he does his bitch about you. And, and I don't. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> but you, you also gave me about 60 bucks over the course of like whatever. So, so thanks so much. Yep. That's I, really what it was. Yeah. So, I mean, for those who actually don't sub to your podcast, um, tell they should. Us a, no, I think, well, this is my time. Plug. This is the time that to, to give that plug. Where, where, where can they find you? Uh, I have a podcast called Versus Media on Patreon, and uh, it's exactly what you think it might be. Um, I try, I try to do something off the, like different than like, you know, Fox Boomer yelling. Um, like, you know, you if you want like yelling about media, you can go to Mark Levin. You know, yeah, yeah, media, yeah. <laughs> you know, or I guess he would be down here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've seen the guy in real life. He actually is kind of tall. He, he was, actually, like, he, how far away were you? Was he wearing pinstripes? He wasn't wearing. <laughs> he wasn't wearing pinstripes. Like the dude actually is like at least five eleven, if not six feet. Wow. Yeah, I was that surprised. Takes lot, that takes a lot to be that tall and act like an angry dwarf. It doesn't. Right? It? It's wild. Well, it's also probably because of that huge desk he has too. It makes him look <laughs> as fucking <laughs> so tiny under it. Everything is oversized in his office. Yeah, I mean, right. Jay, he'll obviously dwarf you with your four, five, four foot nine inch self. Hey, why do I always get short? It's five four, and I'm proud of it. Oh, it's five four. I thought it was shorter, four, nine. shorter than Ben Stiller, but Ben Stiller? You mean Ben it. Shapiro? Ben Shapiro. Aren't they all the same? <laughs> They're all the same beds. <laughs> every, never gonna, they all, every Jew looks alike. <laughs> <laughs> and they all have a target on their back. <laughs> That's, They're all the same. They're all the oh same target. God. All right. Happy babies. To get the rest of this episode, please make sure to subscribe over at Patreon at uh, forward slash. <laughs> 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 You got it's patreon.com for it. So let me change the banner. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna happy. keep it there. I've almost got like <laughs> half of this bottle. I'm not gonna okay. even cut it. We're gonna keep all of it. <laughs> so. I guess the rest of this episode, heavy babies, go to patreon.com forward slash heavy rose. <laughs>